How do you really know when a surface is clean? I mean, really, really clean. Sure, you can look at it and judge if it's clean or not, or you can be a real pro and test the surface with science, giving you the information you need to make informed decisions about your cleaning and your disinfection processes. Today, we're bringing you a demo experience featuring two industry professionals who will demonstrate how the Kekelman A3 ATP test system is an innovation you need right now. Let's go see. Hi, my name is Alyssa Shida. I'm from Kekelman Biochemical Company. I am the regional manager of the hygiene management team. Hi, I'm Dr. Gavin McGregor-Skinner. I'm a senior director at ISSA and I run the Making Safer Choices program. So today I'll be demonstrating our ATP meter, which is called the Lumi Tester Smart. And then we have the Lucy Pack swabs as well. So right now, first, this is a tile. I'll contaminate this surface with the Johnsonville sausage over here. And directions on the label, thoroughly cook the sausages. They're great to eat. Don't eat them raw. <laughs> and then I'm just going to grab a sausage. I'll contaminate this surface, make it really nice and greasy. I'll evenly distribute this sausage grease over here. So first, I'll grab our Lucy Pack A3 surface swab. Put good enough pressure. Collect the samples side by side. Rotate it. Push it back inside. Push the swab all the way in and mix it in together. Press start and it's going to start countdown. So inside the machine right now, it's reading all of the luciferase that is inside the enzyme. So the more the dirt is inside, the more lighter it is. So the higher the number is, that means there's more uh, surface dirt that's on the surface right now. So right now I'm going to bring in the conventional ATP test. This is just detecting the ATP. I'll collect the samples the same way. Good. Put good enough pressure side by side, rotate, push it inside, snap and mix. So this appears as zero even though there is a lot of sausage grease on the surface. For this Lumitester Smart it was able to give you a number, actual number of how dirty the surface was. Gavin, what would you say about this number? That number is really dirty and the point we're making here is that as a professional cleaner cleaning is removing and you have to know what you're removing and more, more importantly you have to know that what you're doing to clean a surface actually works so this is the before clean yes. and then we clean it and we get an after clean number and we actually can measure what we're doing for health and safety and how good we are at cleaning which is removing so next i will be cleaning the surface with the alcohol wipe So this is a, uh, a, a just a, a wipe here that we're using. Was it wet or dry? This is a wet one. It's just, it's slightly wet, so we know that it's that the, again that moisture is acting as a solvent. Um, Alyssa used some pressure on the surface because we actually have to remove the soils, the dirt, the contaminants, and the microorganisms, the germs, which she's done. And you can see that that was a simple wipe in both directions, like you would clean any surface. And now she's going to use a dry okay. microfiber. This is not with chemicals. Again, we haven't used any water, which is a great solvent. This is just a dry microfiber, which acts like a magnet, actually attracts all the dirt, takes the soils off the surface. That's a dry microfiber clean. And now we're gonna test and compare it before when it was dirty to what we've done, a very simple clean here. And let's look at the results. So I'll collect the sample the same way. Rotate, put under enough pressure, side by side. Push it inside, mix it in together, put it inside. That's why we have to measure. We have to measure what we do. And okay, so what was the start there? So we started off with 712,000. That's really dirty. I go into a lot of crime scenes, I don't get measurements <laughs> like that at all. So, highly great example using the, the, the microorganisms that were found in a, a sausage. After that very simple clean, we didn't use any chemicals. 
we got it right down to 10,000. So we've gone from 712,000 units to 10,000. And it's really important that if we wanted to get lower, now we start to look at what are our solvents, what are the chemicals, what are the tools the, the, and the products that we could use to clean that surface a little bit better, and then we test it again. So again, if you're a professional cleaner, you want to validate your commitment to cleanliness, validate your commitment to health and safety, you need to measure before you clean and after you clean. So next I'll do a comparison with a normal ATP swab the same way side by side, good enough pressure, push it inside, mix it in, so it's still giving you a two which is a passing ring. Yeah. So we started off with the zero and then we went to a two. And this is really important, the difference between ATP meters, the Kickerman unit here tests three different compounds. ATP, it's not very stable. It breaks down to ADP, AMP. We call them the adenylates. It tests for all of these. Some of the other ATP meters, they work, but they only test for one, which is ATP, and it's not very stable. It breaks down really easily in the real world. So we want to get more accurate results. We want to be more sensitive to what we're trying to achieve. Then you've got to use an instrument that is more precise, and this is the one that does it for us. I am very proud of our product because it does give people to be able to improve what they're doing. So starting off with the zero and after cleaning the zero, there's no space for them to improve afterwards. But if you get an actual number that how dirty your surface was or how much clean you were able to bring it in, then you'll be able to improve after that and also protect your brand name from that. And there are some sectors like the food industry that tests every day. You can't f afford contaminating food items. There are industri industries like um, industrial industries that uh, assemble electronics. They test all the time. Yes. Um, you, you'll find this in others. But what we want to do throughout the whole value chain, every sector, we want to be, teach people and help them understand how to measure cleanliness and how to be professional. And what we found in our ISSA research project the hardest thing we had was getting people to start testing. Once they started testing, they never stopped. They found how much, how, the, how much value there was in it and how important it was for their team, their workers, their customers to show real value in what I've just done in the cleaning processes actually removes contaminants, soils, microorganisms, and it's so important. And I think really the, the Kickerman has really taken the lead on this by developing things like this guidebook, which easy to, to download, easy to understand, and it just helps you start. Where do I start? Because as we found in our ISSA research project through Making Safer Choices, once you start, you will never stop because that's how valuable this tool is. So for the ISSA, they have a standard for our Lumi Tester Smart and Lucy Pack swabs, which is 4,000 or below. Of course, there are very hard surfaces that are hard to remove, like I did an example here, which is not able to achieve the 4,000, but that means that you can bring do a re-cleaning and try to bring it up to that number. And of course, you can set your own standards that are more suitable for your own facilities. Start testing, a small step. Just start measuring before and after. They can even show how much they are doing with their cleaning. They can prove it. They can actually protect their brands, their employees as well too. So even though there's a complaint saying that they aren't doing their cleaning well, they can prove it with this device, with the app that goes along with it, track all of their trends and tell them how much they are doing better than what they've started off with. And that's a great point, Alyssa. This is about being professional. This is about being effective. Don't get caught up in the numbers. Look at your pre-clean number. Look at your post-clean number. Those numbers should be different. And then yes, if you're in certain areas, certain buildings where we need to aim for a specific below number, then that's what your cleaning process is to do. But more importantly, just show that what you do, how you clean actually removes pollutants, contaminants, microorganisms, germs, soils, the whole thing. Make sure you measure.